Google Sites is a simple tool for creating websites. Here are six awesome examples of how teachers and students are using Google Sites in the classroom. Hi, my name is John Sawash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. I recently asked teachers to share their Google Sites with me, and I've selected six of my favorites to inspire you with how Google Sites can be used for teacher web pages, media center pages, and student projects. Let's start out by a beautiful media center website designed by Tara Cooper Weiss from George Washington Middle School in New Jersey. This is a beautiful site. It's full of rich information to help students navigate all the resources that the Media Center provides. Right off the bat, one of the things that I love about Tara's site is the photo gallery. Right there in the center of the page, you have this beautiful photo gallery with some awesome pictures. You can scroll through and see some recent uh, things that have been going on in the Media Center. If you want people to visit your website, put photos on it. That is the secret. This website also features a left side navigation, which is not as popular as the top level navigation, but you have the choice. You can pick either one. This site is very large. There's lots of pages, so it does make sense to have that sidebar navigation there. Next up, we have a website for school clubs and after school programs. This site was designed by Mary Miner. Uh, she is the uh, technology coordinator at International Academy, which is a collection of schools outside of the metro Detroit area. Now this site is interesting because there are a lot of clubs uh, offered by International Academy and this school happens to have multiple campuses. So this Google site is actually a collection of multiple Google Sites that are linked together. This is quite an organizational challenge here because you have a lot of different teachers and parents who are running and facilitating these clubs. So Mary had to come up with a solution where every person had access to their site, could theme, add content to their site without negatively impacting any other site. So right off the bat, this is our landing page. We have the three different schools uh, that comprise International Academy. When you click on the school, it takes you to that school's page with a list of their clubs. Now, some of these are smaller and they're just a single page on this site. Others are much more complex, and so they actually have their own Google site. It's all contained within International Academy, but the linking allows uh, the permissions and editing rights to be uh, parsed out a among a large number of individuals. The next Google site is very unique because it's an eSports League website. That in and of itself is uh, a new thing. This site was designed by Laurel Aguilar Kirchhoff from San Bernardino Schools. And immediately when you look at this site, you can't help but be impressed by the visual design. The logo especially is really amazing, um, a very well done logo, which you see prominently throughout the site. This is an example of a custom theme for Google Sites. You can go in and tweak and customize nearly every element of your Google Site. If you have a strong brand, colors and logos and fonts, uh, you can go to town and do as much as uh, you're interested in. So I was struck initially by the theming, very well done. The other interesting element that I noticed is um, the use of collapsible uh, content block. So this is the Y Esports uh, page and there's a lot of kind of like frequently asked questions which could be a very very long page but the utilization of these collapsible blocks allows you to show or hide content making the page smaller a little bit easier to navigate. This is a very large uh, website with a lot of content on it. This site is used by um, schools who have their own leagues, um, by league managers and commissioners. There's, there's just a lot of information here. To make that information easy to update and distribute, you'll notice a lot of embedded documents. This is a really, really great way to make sure that information is kept up to date. So on this page, you can see all these embeddable um, files, PDFs, Google Documents, presentations. The benefit of embedding your content instead of typing that information on the Google site is that you can have different people be responsible for maintaining these documents. When they update those documents in Google Drive, it automatically updates the Google site as opposed to updating the document and then having to remember, oh, now I have to copy that information and paste it 
into the uh, website as well. Whenever possible, embedding content will make your site easier to update and you can embed that content in multiple locations and they'll be updated immediately when that document is changed. The next site I'd like to show you stands in stark contrast to the eSports site we just looked at. This is a student landing page for Charles Wright Academy in Washington State. Uh, this was designed by Holly Gurla, uh, the media specialist there. This uh, is a very, very simple uh, site, lots of white space. Um, this site automatically loads on all student Chromebooks. So a student logs in, this site appears, and it gives them access to all of the common applications and resources um, used in the district. There's a couple of drop down links over on the right, some Chromebook tips, shortcuts to other um, things, clubs, uh, for example. But the beauty of this is it is designed specifically to be mobile responsive. So I'm gonna drag this site um, a little bit narrower and you can see how it automatically resizes based on the size of your screen. So whether you're looking at this on an iPad, a phone, or your Chromebook, it's going to look beautiful. The four examples that we've looked at so far were all designed by teachers and you can find links to all four examples in the description for this video. If you have an awesome Google site that you'd like to share with us, you can drop a link uh, in the comment section. We'd love to check it out. The last two examples I'd like to share with you were designed by students. The first one is a sixth grade project website. This class was doing a project on oceans and ocean animals. This site was designed from scratch by the student. They started with a blank site and filled it with all of their content. You can see lots of images being used. You click on these images to visit the page for each of these animals, and this is where you'll see um, the research for these animals located. We've got some use of buttons here, which is really cool and lots of videos from YouTube as well. Now this project could have been done as a Google document, like a traditional research paper, could have been done as a PowerPoint or Google slide presentation, but the use of Google Sites just gives it a different feel and allows students to share the site with family members, parents, and friends. So they can appreciate all the work and effort and learning that uh, the student has accomplished. Google Sites is a great tool to use for portfolios. The final example I have for you is a high school math portfolio. Uh, this example was shared by two teachers from Rockingham, Virginia um, County Schools. This is by Laura Moore and Katie Moran. They put together a presentation on portfolios. I'll link to some of their resources in the description. Here's the uh, student portfolio. Um, students receive a template of this Google site. The template has all of the pages that they have to fill with information and then they customize it with their own photos and text um, and style it according to their personality. Uh, this student here has an about page on the front and then there were four different projects that the students were going to add to their portfolio. They have a project on linear um, equations, on systems, quadratics, uh, and exponentials. And you can see a lot of uh, class content. We've got images and videos, um, photos of lab assignments that they were working on. One of the really interesting things about this portfolio that I liked is over here on the end, this is the reflection. So students were asked a series of questions at the beginning of the year, and then those same questions at the end of the year. Students are given this page and they just fill in their answers uh, below each of the questions. This is a really great example of how you can use Google sites for a portfolio to showcase student learning and growth over the course of a school year. If you're interested in knowing how to set up a portfolio like this and giving students a template, check out this video up here. I walk through the entire process how to build a template for your students. And if you're interested in more advanced Google site tips and how to do some of the things that you saw in these examples, check out this video down here.